uh, Dr. Chris Metzger, uh, System Chair for Clinical Research at Ballard Health and uh, Medical Director of the Calf Lab over here at Holston Valley. Why are we here today and why is it significant? So we're here today for a special event. Um, as part of a research trial called Sea Guardians, there's a new carotid stent with micro mesh. It adds an extra layer of a mesh lining around the regular uh, carotid stent scaffolding, the idea being to even take lower the risk of stroke during the procedure. It's in a rigorous clinical trial to get FDA approval for this device in the United States. It has been used before in Europe with outstanding results. The event today was really special uh, because um, we were selected purposely to be the first site in the United States. Uh, I'm sorry, let me do it again. We were purposely uh, chosen to be the first site in the United States uh, to perform this research procedure. Uh, furthermore, I'm fortunate enough uh, to be the national primary investigator for this, um, and so we were chosen to be the first site to start this trial out in the United States. It had further significance because not only did the uh, team, InspireMD, bring their CEO and their team, but my mentor and friend, Dr. Gary Rubin, uh, who literally helped invent, design, and then place the first coronary stents years ago, and then pioneered the field of carotid artery stenting, um, both with designing some of the stents, uh, but also uh, being the number one enroller and number one leading implanter of carotid stents, again, tr truly defining uh, this space. That Gary, Dr. Gary Rubin, trained me at Lennox Hill about 20 years ago. Uh, and he is a super friend, a mentor, and a giant in our field. So to have that gentleman come here to observe our, our uh, cases, was, uh, yeah, it's, it's a special moment uh, to have the leading pioneer, a friend and mentor come here and then show him that the teaching he did 20 years ago hopefully paid some dividends. So it was a really special day. Uh, we, we have six cases chosen. Uh, we've already done three so far. Uh, they have gone beautifully, uh, and the patients will be followed very closely. Uh, and not only in the hospital, but after the hospitalization uh, as part of the research trial to make sure that this stent is safe, as effective as we expect it to be. <laughs> Boy, I don't know. Uh, I, there, there's so many reasons I cannot absolutely, you know, unless you have tape that lasts until the end of time, I can't answer that one. Anything else? Um, can you just say something quick about what your long-term hopes would be for this and improving patient care and outcomes over the next yeah. five, ten years? All right, so our hope with this stent, carotid stenting has always done a very good job of preventing strokes once you put the stent in. We want to do the procedure itself safely, so if we don't have a stroke during the procedure, um, then you couple that no strokes during a procedure with the longevity of the device. The idea is we prevent strokes in patients with obstructive carotid artery disease. Thank you.